Hello friends, welcome back. So in this video, I will be explaining about what are the various best practices which we follow in any agricultural practices or what are the various types of agricultural farming we can do in the day-to-day -day life that we have depicted in this model. But I am going to explain what are the various best practices which we can follow in any agricultural field so that we can reap more benefits, we can monetize or we can earn more money by using these various agricultural practices that we have depicted in this agricultural model. So if you can see, right, so we have a coconut trees are there. So on the edge of the land, we have grown the coconut trees as well as, uh, so we have a paddy field is also implemented here. We can uh, grow rice here as well as we, are, we, can, we have grown uh, cabbages, as well as uh, we have grown the groundnut, if you can say it, these are groundnut plants, and as well as uh, we, have grown, we are growing wheat, and we are also growing uh, cauliflowers, and uh, even sugarcane as well. This uh, showcases the mixed farming. We are not uh, restricting ourselves to a particular crop. We have put in a mixed crop here. What is the advantage of having mixed crop is, even one crop is getting to last, so another crop will give us the more profit. That is the way we have to practice in the agriculture area where if you put a mixed farming here, mixed even vegetables and uh, uh, grains, then we can have more profits by having this uh, mixed culture. And uh, even in the agriculture sectors, we also implemented here uh, sheep and goat uh, as well. So we are... Uh, um, rearing these uh, sheep and goats so that uh, we can sell these sheep and goats for uh, better uh, earnings as well. And uh, we have cows as well for milk uh, and even for cow dung. So we are growing uh, cows in the cow shed that we are depicted here. And we are by outcome of these uh, cows dung, so we are generating electricity by ourselves by making use of biogas plants. So we can, uh, we are implemented here to generate uh, self-sufficient uh, electricity or gas uh, from this uh, biogas plant. And as well, so we are also doing uh, forest farming where we have grown the taller trees. Uh, from that, uh, we can sell the wood as well as we can sell the um, wood for uh, various interiors or various uh, own purposes so that we can earn money from that as well and uh, if you can see right there is also a fish farming also we are doing there is a pond is there and we are growing uh, fish uh, fishes in this pond so that we can earn extra money from by doing fish farming as well as uh, bee farming as well if you can see right these are the bee farming because uh, we have various uh, flowering plants we have by using this flowering plant, so we can generate extra additional income by doing bee farming as well. And whatever we grow, if you can say it, whatever we grow here, it could be uh, groundnut or it could be paddy or it could be wheat. So whatever the outcome we get it, right, that request to be stored. So we are getting stored all those uh, grains and other vegetables in this grain storage uh, home so that uh, we can keep those uh, items for very long by treating properly and if you can see right so we are also growing the sunflower and also we are also doing poultry farming these are the additional source of income for any farmers by doing uh, the various mixed farming plus uh, uh, poultry fishery and uh, bee farming and uh, even the sheep farming or goat farming or cow farming by following all these best practices definitely we can earn extra money and more money as a farmer. That is what we wanted to depict in this uh, model as a best practices or mixed farming techniques that we can adopt in our day-to-day -day agricultural area. I hope you guys got a clear idea now. What are the various best practices that we follow will generate more money as an agriculturist or as a farmer. Thanks for watching this video. Bye for now. Take care.